to welcome everybody to my class. Uh, today's introduction. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to hand out our syllabus. So everybody gets one. Yeah, so today is just an introduction class. So we're going to go over the syllabus, uh, an activity worksheet, and unit one in the book. Okay, so we'll take the attendance uh, first. So this first. Okay, thank you. One for you, and one for you. Okay, so what we're going to do. Yeah, one here. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the syllabus, and I also have it up here on the board. I just want to make sure everybody understands what they need to do in class. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read, so I want you to read this while I'm talking about it. Okay? Alright, so first things first, our class is every Monday at 1.30 and every uh, Wednesday at 12 o'clock, okay? Uh, my name is Murray Lindsay, okay? If you need to come for extra help or something, my office is in building two and 231, okay? You're always welcome to come visit me in my office. Uh, I keep office hours every day for one hour, so just uh, how talk me, okay? Does everybody have my phone number? Good, okay, zero one zero. Hey! Sorry. Okay, <laughs> please don't be late, okay? We're going over our class syllabus today, and we'll do a little bit of the book. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so everyone take a look up here. The first thing that we're going to do is you need the interchange book. Okay, does everybody have a book? Yeah. Good. Wow, very good. You guys are perfect. Perfect. Okay, we will be using the book most of the time in class. Okay, so just remember on my syllabus, you must have your own copy of the book. You may not share. Okay, so you need your own copy. Um, I also want you to bring a notebook and a folder for every class. Uh, I will be doing extra activities in class for speaking practice, so I want you to be prepared every Monday and Wednesday. Okay? No problem? Everybody understand? Yes. Okay, perfect. Here is how I'm going to make your grade. So this is out of 100 points. Okay? Now please remember at GU, we uh, grade on a curve. So there's a 20% uh, A, 40% B, and so on. There's a curve here. Okay. What? You're late. <laughs> okay, okay guys. Okay, please don't be late again. Okay. okay. All right, now just remember your attendance is 20 points, okay? Every time you are absent, it's minus one point, okay? Okay, if you're, sorry, excuse me. If you're late, minus one point off your attendance grade. If you're absent, it's minus two points, okay? Now, if you are absent eight or more times, you will get an F in my class, okay? If you are absent, it is your responsibility to come to my office or to call me for help, okay? Or to catch up on his work, okay? Now, 20 points is going to be participation in homework, okay? I will only give homework maybe once a week every, every Wednesday, okay? Uh, 20 points is going to be for a speaking midterm, and 20 points is going to be for listening, reading, and writing midterm. I will talk about this on Wednesday. And the final exam is the same thing. Okay? So everything here is 20 points. Um, every, at the end of our uh, test for midterm, I will give you your test scores. We will go over in class. 
So you will know all of your grades for all of these. Okay? And I'm just going to bring down the uh, rest of my syllabus here. Okay, so for midterm, I will tell you more information in four weeks. Okay? But for your midterm, there's going to be a speaking test. So you and a partner will come to the class and have a speaking test with me. Okay? And there will also be a listening, reading, writing exam. Okay? The units will be 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 8 out of the interchange textbook. Okay? Final exam will be the final week of class, a speaking test and our reading, writing, listening exam. And the units covered will be 9, 11, 12, 13, 15, and 16. Okay? So I have some class rules for you. Uh, my class rules, mistakes are okay. Okay? We're learning English. We're building our skills up. So don't worry about making mistakes. I just want you to produce English. Okay? Number two, speak as much English as you can. Uh, don't be scared. Okay, my my beard is gone. Okay, I look like Voldemort, but I'm a good Voldemort. Can I put you put your phone on the desk? Thank you. Okay, I'm a good Voldemort. Sudi, sudi, ma sudi. Have a good day. Uh, ask me any questions you want in class, especially why. Um, always come prepared to class. So you're going to bring a textbook, pen, notebook, and folder, or you will lose marks. Uh, please do not speak when others are talking. Listen to your classmates. Uh, please do not use your cell phone in class. No account talk. No talking to your friends. You can use your cell phone, but it has to be an English dictionary. Okay? Uh, no eating in class. Drinks are okay as long as you have a container. No soju, no beer, no whiskey, no tequila. Water or milk is fine. Okay? Now, I have here some emergency language that if uh, you don't understand something or need some help, you can use these phrases in class. Okay? Sorry, I don't understand. Pardon me. Excuse me. Uh, could you please repeat that? Could you please say that again? Uh, could you speak more slowly? Uh, how do you say mushy, mushy, mushy in English? And what does mushy, mushy, mushy mean? So these are some emergency uh, language for my class. And here is our weekly schedule. So we're right now, we are on week three. So this week, we're going to be doing unit two, what do you do? Okay, so we're going to talk about jobs today and Wednesday. Okay, any questions about the syllabus? No? Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right. What we're going to do now is, okay, everybody's going to get uh, one of these, so everyone get one. Take one pass around. I'll take this. All right, so what we're going to do right now is we are going to uh, fill in uh, this worksheet. It is called All About You. Okay, All About You. Very, very easy. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to get some information from you so I can get to know you better. Now, your homework, your suche, is you're going to glue a picture of your face here and give to me on Wednesday. Okay? 
So let's do this together. So you're going to try to write as much English as you can. So number one, what is your name? Okay, what is your name? Number two, when is your birthday? When is your birthday? May 18, June 24. Okay, so I want you to fill in the blanks. Okay, so what is your name? What is your birthday? So I want you to fill in. Yes. Your Korean name. Okay, what is your Korean name? Okay. Okay, so what is your birthday? When is your birthday? January 10, February 12, March 21st. Okay? Your home city, where do you live? Where are you from? Are you from Gyeongju? Are you from Pohang? Okay, Pohang. Are you from Bukhan? North Korea, are you from Bukhan? Okay, where are you from? And what is your major? What are you studying at? U University. What is your phone number? Okay. How long have you studied English? One year, two years, three years. Uh, where do you live? Okay. And the next part down here are your likes, your favorite things, favorite movie, favorite uh, actor. Just put in what you want. Okay. So I'm going to give you five minutes. Okay. okay, so basically this is called uh, All About You. It's a little cheat sheet for me to uh, get to know my students better. So they're going to do the best they can to fill in the blanks. Uh, they will give this to me on Wednesday and then I can use this to make uh, worksheets, uh, supplements, YouTube videos, and uh, speaking or reading or writing activities for a class. Okay. Hey guys, so I'll give you five minutes, okay? Do the best you can, okay? So what's your favorite movie in Korea? Okay, Korean movie. Monster. Welcome to Domoko. Okay, JSA. Okay, favorite English movie. Kung Fu Panda. Avatar. Uh, X-Men. Okay, so I'm gonna give you five minutes and then we will start the textbook today and typically what I do is I will bring up a timer just to keep everybody on track Yeah, so do the best you can. If you can't fill everything out, that's no problem. Okay, so I'm going to give you five minutes, and then we will start our class. So the last 50 minutes uh, will be about the textbook. five minutes. Okay, don't worry about the timer. This is just for things for you to fill in. Okay. Yeah, so just do your best. Whatever you don't finish, you have to do for homework. Okay, so whatever you don't do in class, just finish for homework and give me uh, a picture so I can get to know who you are. Okay, what movies do you like? Uh, what sports do you like? Who is your favorite singer? What numbers do you like? Okay, I want to know who you are. Okay, so it's easier for me to build my lessons for class and it'd be create a, a much better uh, atmosphere. Favorite English movie, Kung Fu Panda, X-Men, Superman, uh, The Dark Knight. Okay, okay, so we only got a couple more minutes.
Sure. Yep. Yeah, like favorite music, K-pop, uh, hip-hop, uh, jazz, rock, heavy metal. And what is one song that you like? I know one song everybody in Korea likes is Let It Go. Let It Go, yeah, Let It Go. Let It Go, Let It Go. Yeah, that's a very popular, yeah, you can write that song now, Let It Go, from the movie Broken, okay? So it could be a Korean song or an English song. I want to know, because I want to bring in music sometimes while we are uh, doing our assignments. Whenever we do our writing assignments in class, I usually play uh, music. Okay, so for homework, for homework, I just want you to finish and glue a picture here and give to me on Wednesday. Okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to get out our textbook. Yep. Yeah, this bit of picture. Just get one from Facebook or Internet. It's like a picture of your face. Okay, so like for an example... Uh, my picture, I have a picture like this, okay, a fake picture of your face, so then I just glue on the right hand side, okay, so I know, so I can get to know who you are, okay, so please bring it on Wednesday, alright, so what we're going to do now is just everybody get out our textbook, okay, so let's take a look at my PowerPoint, Okay. Welcome everybody. <coughs> Happy Monday. The focus today is going to be listening and speaking. We're going to do a question of the day. Okay. Now in the textbook, we're going to do four things. We're going to do snapshot, speaking, uh, a conversation, and we're going to do an activity worksheet. Okay. So we're going to do unit two in the book. The focus of the lesson today, the main idea. The big idea is we're going to learn about three things. We're going to describe work and school, jobs, okay? Usher, uh, manager, teacher, tutor, athlete, cook, okay? We're going to ask for and give opinions about jobs or about school, okay? And we're going to describe our daily schedules. I get up at 8 o'clock. I eat breakfast at 8.30. I go to Gyeongju at 11 a.m. I have lunch at 12 o'clock. So daily schedule, daily routine schedule, something you do every day. Okay? I brush my teeth at 9 o'clock. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go around the class. What is your dream job, your perfect job? Okay? So the verb stem is going to be, my dream job is to be a mushy, mushy, mushy. My dream job is to be a ballerina. My dream job is to be a baseball player. My dream job is to be a banker. My dream job is to be a, a president. Okay, president. Park Chung-hee. Her good name, okay? For me, when I was younger, my dream was to be a WWE wrestler. My, my dream, okay? John Cena, CM Punk, 
Undertaker, I wanted to be a WWE wrestler. Okay? So we're going to go around the class. We're going to go around like a snake. So what is your dream job? Oh, architect. Okay. My dream job is to be a architecture professor. Okay, an architecture professor. Okay, and what's your dream job? My dream job is to be a TV. A TV of what? Oh, hotelier. Okay. My dream job is to be a hotel manager. Okay, very good. Uh, next, what's your dream job? Tour guide. Okay, and what's your dream job? A stewardess, okay. A bicycle? Oh, body star, okay. Poor guy, okay, and next? Is to be a hotelier, okay, and what's your dream job? My dream job. Adapted physical education professional. Okay, and what's your dream job? Business. Yep, so you can say my dream job. My dream job is to be a business guy. Wow, you guys got very good dream jobs. Very good. Okay, so let's open our book to page 8 and page 9. Okay, so we're going to do this snapshot. Okay, page 8. Okay, so we're going to open our books to page 8. Perfect, yeah. Page 8. So page 8, snapshot. What do you do? So what we're going to do first, let's look at the list of jobs. I'm going to say the number. You're going to tell me what is the job. Okay, so what's number 1? Usher, yeah. So everybody, you have to meet Usher. Usher. Oh, sure. Okay. Number two? Tutor. Tutor, good. Very good. Number three? Team, team assistant. Team assistant, or we could say TA, team assistant. Okay. Number four? Caregiver. 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 Do you know what a caregiver is? Helps older people. Okay. Bring meals to them. Okay. Spend time with them, a caregiver. Mostly for uh, the elderly. Okay. Number five? Server. Server. What restaurants? What fast food restaurant is very popular in Korea? McDonald's. McDonald's. But what Korean restaurant is popular fast food? Uh, Loteria. Okay. Yeah, Loteria. Server. Okay. Server. And what's number six? Fitness. Fitness, Fitness instructor. instructor. Or we could say a personal trainer helping someone ugh, get in shape. Okay. So what we're going to do now is I want you to circle the easiest job. What job is the easiest job? So you're going to circle the picture. Okay? So what job do you think is very easy to do? Okay? Usher, tutor, team assistant, <coughs> caregiver, server, or fitness instructor. So which job is easy? So you're going to circle. What job do you think is very easy to do? A very easy job. Okay. So what job do you think is easy? Okay, so the easiest job just circle. What job do you think is very easy? Okay. What job do you think is easy? Oh wow, okay. Okay. Hey, what, what job do you circle? Yeah, what job do you think is the easiest job? <coughs> Not all difficult. No, we're easy. Okay, so just raise your hands. Who thinks an usher is very easy? Nobody? Very easy job. Who thinks a tutor is an easy job? Okay, what did you serve? What job do you think is easy? Server? Okay, what job do you think is easy? Tutor? Okay, so tutor, server. What job do you think is easy? Number three, okay. And what job do you think is easy? Server, okay. What job do you think is easy? Server? 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 Okay. What job do you think is easy? Tutor. Okay. 
server. All right, now, what we're going to do now is you're going to put in X. What job is the most difficult job? The most difficult job, okay? So for me, I think, I think a fitness instructor is very difficult. You have to be in shape, you have to be able to cook good food, you have to be able to motivate people, so I think a fitness instructor is very difficult. Okay? So we'll go around. What job do you think is the most difficult job? Fitness instructor. Okay. Instructor. Team assistant. Oh wow, team assistant. Okay. What job do you think is very difficult? Three. No, pick one. <laughs> Number three, okay. Uh, what job do you think is very difficult? Three. Fitness instructor? Oh, caregiver. Okay, good. Okay. Next. Tutor. Team assistant. Okay, next. Over here. What job do you think is most difficult? Number four. Oh, caregiver. Okay. Caregiver. What job do you think is difficult? Usher. Usher. Okay. Team assistant. Very good. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do uh, number two, the word power. Right? So we're going to go in groups. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put your desk like this. Put your desk like this. Okay, to so change your desk. Okay, so one, two, one, two. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so put your desk together. Okay, you guys can be a team of two. Yes, team of three. You guys can be a team of three. Okay. Word power, number two. All right. Okay, so take a look up here. Okay. Number two, word power. We're going to complete the word map with the jobs from the list. So let's repeat after me the list of jobs. Accountant. She job accountant. Good. Cashier. Good. Chef. Chef. Dancer. Dancer. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Musician. Musician. Pilot. Pilot. Receptionist. Receptionist. Okay. A receptionist is a secretary. Secretary. Receptionist. Okay. Uh, server. server. Singer. Singer. Tour guide. Tour guide. Website designer. Okay, so in your groups, you're going to put the words in the correct list. So we have four uh, categories. So one is office work. What jobs are office work? Uh, what jobs are food service? Uh, what jobs are in the travel industry? Uh, what jobs are in the entertainment business? So you can work with your partner talking together. You're going to put the words in the blanks. Okay, so I'm going to give you five minutes so you can work and talk as a group, and we're going to check uh, your answers. So I'm going to give you five minutes uh, starting now. Okay. So here's the uh, PowerPoint for uh, page eight, the word power. So what I'm doing is I'm putting in groups of uh, two, three, or four people, and they're going to share and put the word, the correct job, in the right category. Okay. Okay. So you can talk to your partner working together. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll do the speaking and the conversation.
and then I made uh, a supplement sheet that I want to do for the last half of class. Okay. okay, three more minutes. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Is everybody finished? Okay. So if you're finished, what I want you to do is think of two more jobs. So think of two more jobs for each list. Okay, your own jobs. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, we only got about 40 minutes left of class, so I want to uh, go over these. Okay. So uh, we'll go over here for office work. We'll go one, two, three. So what's the first job for office work? Accountant. Good. Number two. Teacher. No. Office work. Yeah. Receptionist. Good. Very good. Receptionist. Okay. And what's the other one? Website designer. Okay, very good. Okay, so we're going to go over here. So we're going to go over here uh, for food service. We're going to go one, two, three. What's the first word for food service? Cashier. Cashier. Good. Number two. Chef. Chef. And number three. Good. Server. Good. Excellent. So we're going to go down here for the travel industry. Travel industry. So we'll go one, two, three. And what's the first word for travel industry? <coughs> yeah, flight attendant. Flight attendant, okay, next. Pilot, okay. And we'll go over here very easy, the entertainment business. So we'll go one, two, three, number one. Dancer, number two. Singer, number three. Musician, okay. So what we're going to do now, let's take a look here at the speaking. Okay, guys, turn it over to page 9. Page 9. Okay, so, okay, so class, look up here. Look up here. Okay, guys. Okay, look up here. Okay, so we're going to look at my PowerPoint up here. So we're going to do number 3 for uh, speaking. Uh, work in workplaces. So let's look at the pictures. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to match the information in columns A, B, and C. And we're going to describe each person's job. So number one, A, a salesperson. What part is it for B? A salesperson. Sells clothes yeah. in a department store. So what you're going to do is you're going to match A to B to C. So it should make a sentence. Okay. So in your groups, I'll give you a couple of minutes. Okay. So we're just basically matching uh, section A to B to C. So for an example, a salesperson sells clothes in a department store. So part A is the job. Uh, part B is what does the person do for the job? And part C is where do they work? Okay, so it goes job, what do they do and the position? Where do they work?
Okay, very good. Okay, good. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay, so let's do this together. So a chef, what does a chef do? Cooks food. Cooks food. Very good. Cooks food in a restaurant. Maybe like gimbap jungkook. Cook some kimchi jjigae or some good mandu. Okay. Uh, a mechanic, what does a mechanic do? Fixes cars. Yep. Fixes cars in a garage. Very good. Fixes cars in a garage. Uh, number four, a carpenter builds houses good for a construction company. So repeat after me, construction, construction company, construction company. Perfect, great. And a reporter writes stories. For a newspaper, KBS Mida, SBS Mida, okay, okay, a reporter. That was my that was my uh, university degree. A reporter, okay. Number six, a nurse. Yeah, cares for patients in a hospital. Perfect. So what we're going to do now is take a look at my PowerPoint. So our last part of the textbook today is we're going to do the conversation on page 9. Now, with your pencil, I want you to write Jason is A, Andrea is B. So we're going to write A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, A, B, A, B, A, B, A. Okay? Yep, so with your pencil, we're going to write A, B, A, B, A. Yep, so A, B, A, B, A. Okay? Yep, and we're just going to write down here. Yeah, perfect. A, B, A, B, A, B, A. Okay, so with your pencil, A, B, A, B, A, B, A. Okay, so I want you to write A, B, A, B, A, B, A. Yep, so A, B, A, B, A, B, and so on. Okay, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. Okay, so I want you to write A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. Yep, perfect. Okay. So where's your pencil? If your pencil, we're going to write A, okay, and B, and A, and B, and A, and B, and A, okay? Jason is A, okay? Okay, can I see this? Perfect, perfect, perfect job. Like this, like this, A plus, perfect. See? A, B, A, B, A, good job. High five. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. So strong. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do now is I am A. Okay. So I'm going to be Jason, and you guys are going to be B. You guys are going to be Andrea. Okay. <clears throat> Where do you work, Andrea? At Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries, South America, like Peru. How interesting. It's yeah. a great job. Love it. Oh, I'm a student. I have a part-time job too. In a fast food restaurant. Hamburger heaven. Okay, so now we're going to change. You guys are going to be A, I'm going to be B. Okay, see job? Good, very good. I work at the Thomas Cook Travel. I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. Yeah, it's a great job. I really love it. And what do you do? Mm, where do you work? Okay, which restaurant? Hamburger heaven. So let's take a look at my comprehension questions. Okay, so take a look up here. Okay, 
So these are the questions I made from the uh, conversation. Okay. So question number one, where does Andrea work? Where does she work at? Yeah, Thomas, Cook, Travel. Good, very good. Number one. Okay, so number two, what does she do there? Yeah, she's a guide. Good, yeah, she's a guide. Number three, what does Jason do? Good, he's a student. Uh, does he have a job? Well, does he have a full-time job or a part-time job? Part-time job. Do you know what a part-time job is? You work maybe 20 hours a week. Okay? So you full-time job, you work every day. Part-time job, you work sometimes. Okay? Now, where does Jason work? Where does he work for his part-time job? Lord. Hamburger Heaven. Okay? He works at Hamburger Heaven. Okay? So what we're going to do now is you and your partner... You and your partners, we're going to go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You're going to practice the dialogue. One of you is A, one of you is B, then change. Okay, so we're going to practice now. So I'll give you two minutes. So I want you to practice the dialogue. One of you is A, one of you is B, then pundit roll, then change. Okay, ready partner? Okay, I'm A. Where do you work, Andrea? <laughs> Oh, really? What do you do there? Wow, how interesting. It's great stuff. I really love it. And what do you do? Oh, I'm a student. Uh, I have a part-time job, too. Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay, so we're going to change. You're going to be A, I'm going to be B. I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do here? I'm a guide. Uh, I take people on tours to countries in South America like Peru. How interesting. Yeah, it's a great job. I really love it. And what do you do? Oh, I am a student. I have a part-time job, too. Where do you work? No, best restaurant. Which restaurant? Okay, very good. Good job. Good. Okay, I'm just waiting for everybody. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll just skip because I want to do uh, some uh, activities. Yeah, so we'll just skip. We're gonna just going to do my activities I made for class. So I want you to do more speaking practice. Okay, all right, so let's stop. So what we're going to do is you're going to be Jason and you're going to be Andrea. So I want everybody to listen. Okay. Here we go. Where do you walk and drop? I work at Thomas Cooking Truck. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America like him. Oh, interesting. I am a great job. I really love it. And what do you do? Oh, I am a student. I have a part time job too. Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Mm -hmm. Hamburger Heaven. Who here has a part-time job? Raise your hand. Nobody has a job? Nobody works part-time at a SG or LG25 or a Makchang restaurant or a bar at Wabar? Do any of you work part-time? Yeah. Where do you work? Restaurant. restaurant? What's the restaurant name? Jimbap Jungkook? What kind of food do you make? Meat? Steak. steak. Wow, I love steak. Coffee. And coffee, coffee and steak. Oh, so delicious. You can die. Okay. Do any of you have a part-time job? No. Do you have a part-time job? No. Okay. Do any of you, do any of you girls have a part-time job? Do you work at a part-time job? Convenience store, restaurant, maybe at a clothing store? No. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to close your books. Okay, close your books. I have uh, a worksheet that we're going to do together so everyone gets one. Okay. Okay, this is the attendance sheet that I'll take at the end of class. Okay. Yeah. So we're, gonna, we're just going to do some uh, speaking practice for the rest of class. Yeah, so everybody gets one. Yep, everybody gets one. Yep. Everybody gets one. 
Okay? What, two? Okay, two? Okay. All right, so let's take a look at my uh, PowerPoint. Okay? So I have some extra speaking activities. We're going to do them together and we're going to have fun. Do you know who this is? Who is this? What movie is it from? X-Men. Hmm? What movie? X-Men. No, not X-Men, no. Jin Jin, yeah, no. <laughs> Star Wars, yeah, Star Wars. His name is Darth Vader, okay? I am Darth Vader in class, okay? So what we're going to do, yeah. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is in your partners, I want you to take a look at the job. So I'm going to give you one minute. Any job you don't know, put an X. So any job you don't know, put an X. Okay? There's all these jobs. So there's any job here I don't understand, put an X. So I can help you. Okay? Yep. Okay, so do you, you know what a bank teller is? So look at the jobs. Any word I don't know, Malayo, put an X. Okay? Yeah, so any word you don't know, put an X. Yeah, and we're just at the front page. And I got new jobs. So we have a list here of new jobs, types of jobs. Okay? Some of these I think they're not going to know, but uh, we're going to take a look. Types of jobs. Okay? Okay, so how about this? Let's go through these together. So repeat after me. Bank teller. Bank teller. Do you know what a bank teller is? You know what, like Daegu Bank or Nonya? I need to pay my, my bills for my house. I pay money. Bank teller. Okay. Uh, computer programmer. Good. Bus driver. Okay. Zookeeper. Is there a zoo in Gyeongju? No? Do you know what a zookeeper is? He cleans the cages at the zoo for the animals. Okay? Uh, doctor. doctor. President. President. Okay, like Park Grenade, <laughs> President. Chemist. Chemist. Do you know what a chemist is? No. Like chemistry, like making things out of chem chemistry, making like potions and things. Okay? Uh, environmental engineer. Okay, helping the environment, making things for the environment. Writer. Psychologist. A psychologist is the study of the mind. Okay, study of the mind. You're crazy. Oh, what? what? Nobody there. Okay. okay, graphic designer. Okay, like maybe a graphic designer makes uh, templates. Okay. Um, ship captain. Okay, like the captain of the ship, like the Titanic. Okay. Uh, police officer. Police officer. Judge. Judge. Hairdresser. Hairdresser. Tour guide. Tour guide. Okay, I think some people in here want to be a tour guide. Okay. Uh, factory worker. Flight attendant. Okay, now a uh, flight attendant or a stewardess is the same thing. Insurance agent. Do you know what an insurance agent is? Uh, insurance agent, I sell you insurance for your car or for your house or for your life insurance. So if I die, my wife gets my insurance money. Okay? Insurance. Okay. Uh, professor. Salesperson. Dentist. Custodian. A custodian cleans the floors, like cleans the bathroom. Custodian. Janitor. Janitor. Custodian, janitor. Actor. Scientist. Horse trainer. Yeah, no, like, yeah, horse trainer. Training horses. Ride a horse. Can you ride a horse in Gyeongju? Yeah. Where? Oh, I want to go. I want to ride a horse. Okay? Like a cowboy. Woo! Ride a horse. Okay. Um, shopkeeper. Okay. They're all over Gyeongju. Okay. Shopkeepers. Uh, surgeon. Think of plastic surgeon. Plastic surgery. Fix my face. Make me handsome. Make me like David Beckham. 
Uh, firefighter, firefighter. Soldier. soldier, camera person. Okay, next one, translator. translator. Do you know what a translator is? So if I'm at, uh, I'm meeting someone and he speaks Korean, I speak English. She's the translator. She helps us communicate. Okay, very good job. You guys should study to be a translator. Make a lot of money. Uh, travel agent. Okay. Uh, hotel manager. Hotel manager. Taxi, driver. Taxi driver. Okay. Secretary. Okay, a secretary is a receptionist. Receptionist, okay. Stockbroker. Uh, a stockbroker works in stocks. Help them go up and down, making money. Okay, stockbroker. Uh, teacher. teacher. Accountant. Accountant. Accountant helps people with their money to make the money grow, make more money. An accountant. Okay. Uh, nurse. nurse. Chief executive officer. Yeah, kind of like a CEO. CEO. So, okay, musician. musician. Civil engineer. Okay, veterinarian. veterinarian. A veterinarian is an animal doctor. Helps animals. Animal doctor. Okay, housewife. House husband. Okay, so stay at home. Don't work. Raise the kids. Okay. Does your does your mom have a job or does your mom stay at home? Okay, my mom stayed at home. She raised the kids. Clean the clothes, make food. Okay. Uh, dancer. dancer. Pilot. Pilot. Politician. Politician. Lawyer. Lawyer. Cook. 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 Professional athlete. Professional okay. Athlete. Baseball player, swimmer, soccer player, uh, mechanical engineer. Okay. Yep. Yeah. A waiter or waitress. Or a business person. Okay, so what we're going to do now is in your group. So one, two, three, four, group one. Uh, I'll get you to come over here. So we'll have, I'll get you to come over here to this group. Okay? And you guys are in group. So one, two, three, four. And you're going to come over here. So we have uh, four, four, and three. Yeah. Come over here, yeah. Okay, so you guys put your desk together. Put your desk together. Perfect. All right. So, in your groups, I have categories down here. In your groups, you're going to put three jobs for each category. So, for an example, what three jobs are dangerous? Mm, maybe soldier, firefighter, and pilot. Okay? So, in your groups, you're going to work together and talk. You're going to pick three jobs for each category. Okay? If you don't understand the, the category, raise your hand. I'll help you. Okay? So I'm going to give you five minutes starting now. Okay, so working together. Okay, so you're going to look here. So working together as a team, what three jobs are the most dangerous? Okay, so we're talking together. Okay. Yep. Oh, prestigious. Uh, look on your phone. Look at your phone. What's the Korean word? So if you don't, prestigious. What's the Korean word for prestigious? Look at your phone. Yeah. Okay, prestigious, like honorable, an honorable job. A really good job, prestigious. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, so what three jobs are dangerous? Okay. Okay, so working as a team, okay, so we're going to put three jobs that are dangerous. Three jobs that are high paying, make good money, okay. Okay, so they're going around putting the words in the list. Now, high pain, make a lot of money. Make a lot of money. High pain. High pain, make a lot of money. Okay. Do you think a zookeeper is a high paying job? Okay. 
Yeah, so what jobs are high paying? What jobs do you make a lot of money? Yeah. Factory worker is high paying? Oh, dangerous, yeah. Factory worker would be dangerous, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you're going to pick three jobs, three jobs for each. Yep. Prestigious. What's the Korean word for prestigious? Young song. Young song. Young song. Prestigious. Young song. Yeah, I'm very curious. What for your list, right? What three jobs are prestigious? Okay. Yep. So you're going to share your answers, working as a team, working together. Okay. Chemist, pilot. Okay. Oh wow, good. Yep. Judge, doctor, and dentist. Yeah. I think in Korea, dentists make a lot of money. Okay. Yeah, so the word we're talking about, Young Sung, Ryan, is called uh, prestigious. Like something really honorable. Okay, like in Korea, uh, my job is kind of prestigious. Like I'm a professor. Teachers are held in high regard here in Korea. So there's other ones like popular for men, popular for women. What jobs are difficult? What jobs are exciting? What jobs are relaxing? So they got to give me their opinion, and we're going to talk about it. Okay, so take your time. Okay, I'll give you guys some more time. Wow, okay, it's good. Yeah, in Korea, flight attendants, a very high paying job. In Canada, not high paying. Not a very good job. Yeah. And, okay, ship captain, okay. What no, jobs? No, no, young Song, Young Song, prestigious. Young Song, prestigious. So, when, what jobs do you think are prestigious? Do you think a zookeeper is Young Song? No! Okay, actor, okay, maybe actor, okay. President, yeah, president, yeah, prestigious, okay. <coughs> yep. Okay, so that team over there, we're going to take a look. So I go, I rotate uh, team to team. Okay. Oh, wow, you guys are very good. Wow, you guys are almost finished. Yep, soldier, yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe taxi dri taxi driver, maybe popular for men. Okay. Yeah, I I never I've never seen a woman taxi driver. Always men. Yeah. 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 Do you think a taxi driver is a dangerous job? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. So share your answers together, work as a team. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so they're working together. Uh, they're using uh, English and Korean, which is fine. They're working on the assignment. Uh, what we're going to do is when it's done, we're going to discuss their answers, because I think my answers are a little bit different. Uh, I'm Canadian and uh, they're Korean, so there's going to be differences. Uh, I'll give you an example, Ryan, is that in Korea, a flight attendant is a very prestigious, high-paying job for women. In Canada, it doesn't pay that well. President, yeah? Okay, so we're going to look for popular for men, popular for women. What jobs are difficult? What jobs are hard? Difficult. What jobs are exciting? What jobs are relaxing? Okay. Yeah, popular for women. What jobs are popular for women? Zookeeper? No, I like zookeeper.